Welcome to part 3 of our series translating and explaining each of the Pokémon's name in Japanese. This time we're heading to Hoenn, and we've still got Mika, a native Japanese speaker, to pronounce all of these names as clearly as possible for us. So, let's get started. Kimori. Literally, tree forest, which also sounds similar to Yamori, meaning gecko. Jupitoru. Japanese for tree, English for reptile. Jukain. Derives from Jukai, meaning either abundant leafage or dense woodland. Achamo. Baby Shamo, which is a breed of chicken used in cockfighting. Wakashamo. Young Shamo. Bashamo. Burn Shamo. Mizugoro. Water Mud Skipper. Numakuro. Japanese for swamp and English crawl or crawl dad, for some reason. I mean, they live in swamps, there's that. Lagurazi. From the English words lagoon and large. Pochiena. Pochi, a popular name for dogs in Japan, kind of like our Spot or Rex or Rover, and then mix that with hyena. Guraena. From English's growl and hyena. Jigzaguma. A combination of zigzag as well as the Japanese word for raccoon or badger, as both end in guma, which is the suffix used for animals resembling bears. Masuguma. Straight raccoon badger. Kemusso. Is derived from their word for caterpillar. Karasarisu. Japanese shell mixed with English chrysalis. Agehanto. English's hunt mixed with the Japanese name for the swallowtail butterfly. Mayurudo. Japanese cocoon mixed with English shield. Dokukeiru. Japanese for poisonous moth, English's scale, referring to their scaled wings, or perhaps gale, meaning strong winds. Hasubo. Baby lotus hat. Hasuburero. Japanese lotus, Spanish sombrero. Bunpapa. Several things here, the Japanese descriptor for being extra happy and bouncy, as well as the onomatopoeia for a rapid drumbeat. This is then combined with rumba, a type of Cuban or Central American dance, mixed with kappa, a similar looking to this evolutionary line, yokai. Tanebo. Baby seed hat. Konohana. Literally, <laughs> as in its name is literally this, big nose. Hey there, big nose. What's hanging? From your nose. Your big nose. Big nose. Notably though, the beginning of big nose is the same phonetically as their word for leaves. So there's that. Da tengu. From Japanese, tengu, the type of yokai it's based on. And English, dirty, as in it plays dirty tricks. Not that it needs a bath, though it probably does. Tsubame. A corruption, meaning slight misspelling or mispronouncing, of their word for swallow, the type of bird it is. Osubame. A corruption of large swallow. Kamome. A corruption of seagull. Peripa. Same as the English name, a combination of pelican, propeller, skipper, and flipper. Larutosu. Same as English, from astral, relate, and waltz. Kirudia. Same as English, from Carillion Photography, where you can see spirit energy. Sanaito. From Sir Knight, which is what you would say to call over a knight or city guard. Ametama. A combination of their words for rain, sphere, spirit, pond skater, and candy. Amemosu. Japanese rain, English moth. Kinokoko. Mushroom child. Kinogasa. Mushroom umbrella. Namakero. Slacking off, sloth. Yarukimono. Willingness, sloth. Kekkingu. Japanese for absence, meaning not showing up to work or school. And king. The king of absence. You're never there. Tsuchinin. Japanese for to bury in the ground. And ninja. Tekkanin. The Japanese onomatopoeia for gunfire and ninja. Nukenin. Literally, the phrase for a ninja that has abandoned their clan or lord. But in a pun-like situation, it can also refer to casting off your skin. Gonyonyo. Derived from the Japanese onomatopoeia for whispering or murmuring. Dogomu. The Japanese sound of a great bellowing roar. And English bomb. Bakuongu. The sound of an explosion and the sound of music. 
Makunoshita. A corruption of Makushita, the third highest division in sumo wrestling. Hariteyama. Here's a fun one. It's derived from Hariyama, which is another sumo ranking. And Hariyama is this Pokemon's name in most other languages, but in Japanese they added the te, which in a pun like situation changes a few things and gives it more meaning, such as Harite, the open handed slap move in sumo that it may be doing in its main pose. It also combines words that translate to to compete with and to knock down, as well as mountain and pincushion, which I guess it kind of looks like. Ruridi comes from their name for lapis lazuli. Nozu pasu. Same as English, from nose and compass. Enoko. From their name for foxtail grass and cat. Enokororo. Foxtail grass, cat, and heart. Yamirami. Comes from words meaning darkness, to squint, and to glare. Kuchito. Japanese mouth and English cheat or eat. Kokodora. Kodora. Bosugodora. To properly understand these names, we have to look at the whole line, as the first and last evolution derive from the middle. The middle form comes from ko, meaning large, combined with the English word dragon. This then makes the name that the other two reference, as then the first form's name means child or little kodora, and it wouldn't make much sense to say little big dragon, you know? Therefore, it's directly referencing the middle form. And the final evolution means boss kodora, while also referencing Godzilla. And because of the way language works, they both reference the middle one. It's neat stuff. Asanan. A combination of asana, a yoga pose, and non, meaning flexible, soft, and limber. Charemu. A combination of the English words charm, challenge, champion, and harem pants. Th the type of pants it's wearing. Lakurai. Simply and literally, Japanese for a bolt of lightning. Daibolto. From English, live, as in a live wire, bolt and volt, and possibly Japanese for thunder. Purasuru. Derived from their word for something with a positive charge. Mainan. Same as English, from minus, referring to something with a negative charge. Barubito. From Japanese, bulb, and English's beetle and beat. Ilumize. Same as English, from illuminate. Roseria. Same as English, from rose, azalea, and bedelia. Gokurin. From the Japanese onomatopoeia for gulping and toxin. Marunomu. A combination of swallowing whole and to gulp. Kibania. Japanese fang, English piranha. Samehada. Is a combination of words meaning rough skin and shark. Notably, this is also very similar to the Pokemon ability that translates to rough skin, which this Pokemon has. Hoeruko. Literally, one to one, Japanese for bellowing child. Though in a pun like situation, this sounds phonetically similar to their word for whale. Hoeruo. Is a combination of English whale and Japanese to bellow and king. Donmeru. From Japanese dull, slow or stupid, and English camel. Bakuda. From Bactrian camels and the Japanese words for bomb, eruption, and camel. Kotasu. From English coal and tortoise. Banebu. Spring, pig, oinking. Boo pig. Oinking pig and also English pig. It's oinking pig pig. Patiru. From English patch, since its fur is all patchy, and real, as in to stagger from dizziness. Nakura. Here's a fun one. It's a contraction of nutcracker for one, but can also be a play on the knucker, a folk tale about a dragon that lives in a hole, similar to antlions, which this Pokemon is based on. Vibraba. Same as English, vibrate larva. Flygon. Same as English, from fly, dragon, and dragonfly. Sabonea. Japanese cactus, English debonair, meaning suave, stylish, and confident. Noctasu. English nocturnal and cactus. It's a much edgier sounding name than cacturn. Tiruto. From Teal, a star in the Draco constellation, or possibly a reference to the world famous play The Blue Bird, whose main characters are Mithil and Tiltil. 
Same teal reason as before, but it ends with the Latin talus, meaning such or of a sort. Zangoose. Same as the English name, coming from the Japanese word for cut down and English's mongoose. Habuneku. From the Japanese name for various venomous snakes and English snake. Lunaton. Same as English, from luna and stone. Solroku. Same as English, from solar and rock. Dojochi. From Japanese loach and English loach. Ha! <laughs> it's loach loach, everyone! Hey, we gotta come up with a name for this really boring Pokemon that's a loach. What do we call it? Uh, how about loach? Nah, that's too, it's too on the nose. What if we combined the word loach with loach from a different language? There we go. Namazun is derived from the name Onamazu, a mythical catfish which can cause earthquakes. And Namazu is also just catfish. Heigani. A combination of army troops, to harm, and crayfish. Shizariga. Scissors crayfish. Yajiron. An abbreviation for balancing toy. Nendoru. Is a rather interesting name. Doll just comes from English doll, but nen can come from clay, but also nen is found in many Japanese words relating to extrasensory perception, meaning psychic powers. Words that translate to things such as telekinesis and spirit photography and of the mind. Lilira. From English lily and Spanish lila. Yureidoru. From Japanese lily and cradle and English cradle. Lily cradle cradle. Anopusu. From English, Enomalocaris and Arthropod. Amaldo. Same as English, from Enomalocaris, Armor, and Saxton's Alb. Himbas. Japanese for poor, and English bass. Milokaros. Is Greek for Venus de Milo, beauty, elegance, and grace. Poarum. Is a combination of their onomatopoeia for poof, as well as to change and transform. Poof. I'm different now. Kakureon. Japanese to hide and English is chameleon. Kagebozu. Shadow, teru teru bozu. Jupetta. Japanese for curse and English puppet. It may also be referring to Geppetto from Pinocchio. Yomawaru. Is a combination of many words, meaning ghost, bad person, night watchman, night wanderer, and the Yama Wara Wa Ra Ra. This thing. A one eyed spirit from a famous tale. Samayoru. Is a combination of to wander about and night. Tropius. Same as English, from tropical, saurus, and tropism, which is when a plant moves for various reasons. Chirin. A combination of the sound of a small bell chiming and wind chime. Abusoru. Same as the English name, which may derive from the Japanese word meaning dangerous, as well as Latin for away and sun. Sonano. Is nearly homophonous to a common Japanese phrase that roughly translates to, is that so? Or, really? This works well with its evolution. Remember the scene in the anime where Why Not and Wabafet just go back and forth forever, confusing everyone? Well, this scene made perfect sense in Japanese and literally no other language. That's the way it is. Is that so? That's the way it is. Really? That's the way it is. Is that so? And so on. Yukiwarashi is a combination of snow, child, and zashiki warashi, a small spiritual creature. Onigori. Here's a fun one. Firstly, it can mean simply ice demon, but this sounds similar to onigiri, those rice balls that it somewhat resembles. Then, it can also be relating to its hockey goalie mask. Apply a strong Japanese accent to the word goalie and you get gori. Tamazarashi. Literally, sphere, seal. Todogura. Japanese sea lion, English juggler. Todozeruga. Sea lion, walrus. Paaruru. From English, pearl, and Japanese slang, lulu. Meaning, when something is remarkable. Notably so, lulu is also Arabic for pearl. So perhaps, remarkable pearl pearl? Hanteru. Same as English, from hunt and tail. 
of which it uses to hunt. Though also possible, Japanese hunten, meaning speck or fleck. Sakurabisu. From English abyss and Japanese cherry blossom. Jiransu. From English coleocanth and Japanese old man. Rabukasu. From English love and discus. Tatsubei. English baby, Japanese dragon. Komoru. Means to seclude oneself. And notably, Ryu, meaning dragon, is written similarly. Bomanda. Is Japanese for assault or a violent act. And English for salamander. Dumbbell. A corruption of dumbbell. Metang. Same as English, from metal and tang, the sound of metal being struck. It's also an anagram of magnet. Metagrosu. Same as English, from metal, cross, and gross, referring to its weight. Lejiroku, lejiaisu, lejisuchiru. These names are all the same in English. The English words for their forms, rock, steel, and ice, and Latin for royal. Latiasu, latiosu. Both of these names are the same in English, which comes from Latin, meaning to lie hidden, and they end with either a masculine or a feminine suffix. Kaioga. Same name as English, from Japanese ocean, king of the sea, and Neptune, as well as English's orca whale. Gradon. Same name as English, from ground, as well as dawn, Spanish for lord, and common in dinosaur names. Lekuza. Same in English, from ray and quasar, though also from Japanese words meaning violent and furious, sky and seat or location. In Japanese, it could be alternatively written out and translated as one that sits in the ferocious heavens, which is pretty cool. Jirachi. Same name in English again, combining many languages, such as Japanese wish, especially one for happiness or fortune, Hebrew for provider, and Russian for wish. It's a happy wish provider. And lastly, Deokishisu is the same as the English name too. Most legendaries are really. It comes as an abbreviation for deoxyribonucleic acid, also known as DNA. And there you have it. Gen 3 Pokemon names in Japanese, then broken down and translated. Like I said back in Gen 1, the names really do get a lot better as you go along. And if you remember the English series, you know that we loved pointing out names like Dark Dark and Turtle Turtle. Well, we finally have another. It's Loach Loach. Woo! Hope to see you next time with Gen 4. So until then, please remember to never stop using your noggin and check these awesome videos out.